Hello, my name is Brenda. My channel is Handwork Maniac. Today is going to be a little bit of a whip parade because it's been so long I can't remember what I've showed you and what I haven't showed you. So I'm just going to show you a lot of things. Um, cross stitch. These are cross stitch projects. And I don't really have any haul for... I do have some stitchy kindness, so it'll mostly be whip parade and a little bit of that. Um, my summer break is over. I'm back at the back at work full time starting Monday. Today is Wednesday, August fourth. Um, I work at a public junior high, and I work full time. I'm the administrative secretary. So school starts in two weeks on August sixteenth. So we're frantically getting ready. And the Olympics is going on right now, as I sure you know. Um, and I kind of did myself a, a little challenge to do during the Olympics. I chose five pieces and made some goals on what I wanted to accomplish on them each day as I was watching the Olympics. So the first half of the Olympics, I was not back to work yet, so I could do a lot more hours during the day. Now I'm back to work, so I'm not doing as many hours during the day, but still working on those. So those five... I'll continue to just work on those until August 8th, 9th, 8th. I think 9th we gave, gave ourselves as a catch-up day to make up anything we may have missed. <laughs> and then I will earn medals, depending on how much of my goals I got done. You can see more information about that if you want on my Instagram account, which is Handwork Maniac. Just go back to the previous, through the previous post till you get to the first post about the Olympics. So I'll show you those five first. And that's the Stitchy Kindness. Creative Country Girl, Tammy Blaylock. And her website is TammyBlaylock.com. Uh, you'll see it down in the, in, in the description box below. Decided that my 12 Days of Christmas project could not be in an everyday bag. It needed to be in a Christmas bag. So she was so sweet and she sent me this bag to put it in. Her bags are fabulous. Here's the zipper pull for this one. It has a little tassel and a bell and this beautiful flower. Her bags are fully lined. It has a beautiful lining. And then she always puts in this, on the inside is this ribbon with a ring on it so that you can attach things to the inside of your bag so that you know where they are and they don't get lost, like your scissors or your floss. And she, oh, and her bags usually go this way. She does hers long ways this way. And she was very nice and turned it on its side and put a zipper on the long edge so that I could fit my 11 by 11 Q-snaps in. She's so nice. But check out her bags. They are fabulous. I've ordered several more from her. I'll show them to you when I get them. So this is 12 Days of Christmas by Hello from Liz Matthews. This is the first day of Christmas. She has first, second, third, and fourth out so far. She said the fifth one is coming out this fall. Excited to see that. This is what I have so far. I'm going to do all of mine on the same piece of fabric. This is 46 count antique white linen with the called for NPI silk. This is what it will look like when it's finished the first day. And then I'll just keep going across. I'll do four across, three rows of four to do all 12 on the same piece of fabric. Uh, one strand of silk over two fabric threads. Full cross. I always do full cross. Everything is a full cross. This is Modern Folk Embroidery Zimmerman Coverlet. Oh, this is based on a coverlet that Ellen owns, Maximum Power 
cross stitch hour. I can't think of what her channel is called. Wonderful Ellen. Um, and part of the proceeds go to a charity in Canada that helps women and children. I'm trying, I can't think of what the name of it is. I'll put that in the description box below, but this is what it will look like when it's finished. It, it's the same pattern that repeats three times in this modern folk androgy version. He repeated it three times for this cover photo, but the pattern only includes just one repeat. So you have to decide how many times you want to repeat it. I love how it looks with three. Um, but I'm thinking maybe I'll finish one first and then see how I feel. I really wanted to try 56 count antique white linen. So this is on 56 count. One strand of floss over two linen threads. And this is DMC variegated floss number 121. A lovely variegated dark blue. That's where that one is. This is Star Village by Thistles. I started this one at StitchCon. It is on 46 count natural linen. Just finishing up this grass right here and then I'll move up and do some start on the stuff up here. I'm loving this one. It is the called for gentle arts threads, one strand of floss over two fabric threads. That one has been so fun. They're all fun. I mean, I love all of them. So I don't know, I guess I, I could say that about everyone. It's so fun. This one is a stitch for all seasons summer by little dove designs this is on 40 count silk weaver fabric in the color seaside melody I'm using the called for DMC floss, one strand of floss over two fabric threads. And I just have that, just finished that bottom rectangle and started up on here. This is a window balcony, I believe with plants on it. Started on that one. That one has been lots of fun too. Makes me feel very summery. And then my fifth, piece that I've been working on during the Olympics is my full coverage Heaven and Earth Designs Four Seasons. And I really wanted to get some serious work done on this during the Olympics because I love the Olympics and I knew I was going to be watching a lot of Olympics. This is what the finished piece will, will look like. It's called Four Seasons. This is the mini version. This is not the regular version. This is the mini version. It'll be about 10 inches by 10 inches. Oh, I think I already said that. It goes this way. <laughs> I was able to make it over here to the other edge. I was so excited about that. And now I have started down here for the next row of pages over. These are parking bobbins that my daughter-in-law Hannah made. She has an Etsy shop called Sunshine Mama's Designs. We'll put that down in the description box as well. She also makes needle minders. Okay, those are all the pieces I've been working on during the Olympics. Now the rest of this is just stuff I've worked on since the last time I showed it to you. one's got magnets stuck to it. <laughs> My goodness. This is Kingdom of Books. It is a Russian kit. 
that I got from a Russian website called mybobbin.com. It came with 14 count white Ada and all the floss to stitch it with. I switched out the fabric. I'm using an 18 count hand dyed Ada because I didn't want to stitch all of this wood back here or this wood shelf down here. So this I'm just letting be the background be the color of the fabric although I am doing a little bit of the shadow on top of each of these books so the details of the books will stand out and then I am doing just a little bit of this wooden shelf down here to give it an anchor shadow at the bottom so it looks like it's sitting on something. That's what it looks like when it is finished. There is another version of this. My friend Sharon is stitching the other version of this that she got on Amazon and it's called World of Books. It's by a completely different company. The pattern looks completely, the like the chart looks completely different. Um, it's still the same picture. I noticed that her colors are slightly different than mine. So two different companies must have um, used the same artwork and scanned it in a different way. So they're similar, very similar, but a little different from each other. Mine is the kit. And I have three and a half books done so far. It is a Russian kit. The names of the books were mostly in Russian, but I believe it, the artwork is um, from the Netherlands. It's supposed to look like the tall, Built house buildings along the edge of the canals in the Netherlands. So I have translated the names of the books to, well, I didn't. My friend Mary very nicely translated the names of these Russian books into English for me, and they are seem to mostly be books about the Netherlands. But I wanted the English on there so I could remember what the books were about, that this was a piece celebrating the canal houses in the Netherlands. Um, and it's going to be a very long piece. This is 18 count Ada. The kit came with 14 count Ada, so it would have been even bigger, <laughs> which is also awesome using the, the floss that came with the kit, but it, it called for th to use three strands of floss on the 14 count Ada, and I'm just using two strands of floss on the 18 count Ada. This one is Arcade by Long Dog Samplers. Mine is stuck. It's in a beautiful bag by Brass, the Brass Button Shop. Beautiful fall bag. Look at this inside fabric. Mine is on 40 count. Picture this plus linen in the colorway conifer. And I am using silks for you, two colors of silks for you silks. I was able to get more done over here. This one is You Had Me at Flamingo by Hands On Designs. Hands On Design. I'm just doing this pillow and it's on the called for 32 count linen in the color linen and that's what I have done so far In another beautiful bag from 
with the brass button shop. This is a Dimensions Gold kit called Lost No More. The original artwork, artwork is by Greg Olson. I'm using the kit fabric, which is 18 count Ada, and the kit floss. I've been working down here. Love that one. This one is Sleeping Princess by Mirabilia. It is on 32 count water lily linen. With the called for DMC floss. My goodness. The house is very humid this last month. It's making all of this linen so wrinkly. This is a Studio 88 bag. Snoopy on it. The inside fabric is this. And this project is Day and Night by Long Dog Samplers. to stick to each other. I feel like this is feeling like Halloween over here to me. It's just the colors just worked out right there. It's not supposed to be Halloween. That's just what it makes me think of. This is 40 count Valor by Silk Weaver. Using the called for DMC, one strand of floss over two fabric threads. The Sleeping Princess by Mirabilia is two strands of DMC, the called for DMC over two fabric threads on the 32 count linen. This is the new normal by Long Dog Samplers. I'm stitching mine with Sulky, S-U-L-K-Y, 12 weight cotton. They make several products. This is the 12 weight cotton. I was able to finish this bubble and I'm working on this border up here. The list of colors that I'm using is in the description box below. I bought my Sulky floss at sulky.com, S-U-L-K-Y dot C-O-M. This one is the Prairie Schooler. It's a set of charts just called ABC, and then there's another one called DEF. And there's another one called GHI. I believe there are 12 all together. X, Y, and Z. Oh, where is it? Oh, maybe it's still in here. Here it is. Mm. 
there's an extra, it has Y, Z, and then an and. Well, yes, an and that has letters and numbers on it. So I think that's 26 letters in the alphabet plus the extra one would be 27, I think. So I am doing mine. I'm not going to do that extra and block and twice I'm going to combine some letters. So G and H are going to be on the same block and V and W are going to be on the same block so that I can make it six by four. That's how I'm going to do mine. I'm going to do it all on the same piece of fabric. Um, all of these patterns are not the same size. They're about 70 by 100 but they're all vary just a little bit. So I think it's 70 by 100. Um, I'm editing each one so that they are all 70 by 100. So sometimes I'm having to um, take some rows out to make them 70 by 100. This is 28 count uh, cream colored linen and I'm doing it over one thread. So the called for DMC, one strand of floss over one strand of fabric on 28 count and I did change the red <clears throat> the red was a lot darker red in this first ABC box and I switched it out for another color of red that is used in some of the later alphabets just to lighten it up a little bit I believe it called for 38.57 and I changed it to 9.18 for these three blocks, A, B, C. This is Die Farben des Wassers. Or the Colors of Water by Der Werkstatt für Historische Stickmuster. It is a beautiful pattern. I'm doing it on 46 count antique linen. It calls for Soie d'Alger silk floss, and that is what I'm using, the called for color. One strand of silk over two fabric threads. This is Autumn by the Cricut Collection. I have finished Spring. Now I'm doing Autumn. Be nice to get it done to hang it up for autumn. I'll work on that. And this is on. These are my lovely project cards that I keep in every project. You can mark what days you worked on it. And then you can also put all the information about it. These cards I got from S. Ward Designs on Etsy, and you can get them for, she has several different formats, different years. This is a three-year one. You can get a five-year one. You can get a two-year one. Um, and she has different ways you can count. This one's just by day. She has one that you can count by hundreds of stitches, lots of different ways, but I love those cards because now I can pull it out and tell you that it's on 32 count Antique Ivory Belfast Zweigert using the called for DMC and the called for silken colors. I think it calls for two silken colors, silks. And so far I have the A done and I have just barely started on the U. Two strands of floss over two fabric threads. 
This is Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower. Mine is on 40 Count Elegance by Silk Weaver because I wanted it to really be purple. Um, I chose I, some of the overdyed, it calls for overdyed cottons. Some of them I had, some of them I didn't. So I chose some out of my stash that I thought were similar to what was showing in the model picture. I do think I changed the huckleberry colors of the actual berries to, I think I changed a couple of the colors to be more purple. I have finished this middle section. And then I'm working down here. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. This bag is from Jordy's Handmade. I just love it. Winnie the Pooh. She makes lovely bags as well. This is the inside. This is the Prairie Schooler Still Life. Mine is on, I'm trying to remember which way it goes. <laughs> can't remember which way it goes then you need to do more work on it right until you can figure out which way it goes I think it goes this way it is on 18 count black Ada with the called for DMC floss one strand of floss two strands of floss over one square on the 18 count Ada this is another Studio 88 bag. She always has beautiful zipper pulls. Oh, and this is Band of Roses 1845 by Cross Stitch Antiques. This is a picture of the original reproduction or the original sampler. This is a reproduction pattern based off of this original sampler. Oh, what fabric is this? I think this is the one that does not have a project card in it yet. Oh my goodness. It's on here somewhere. I remember seeing it. Hmm. Oh yeah. 40 count maritime white linen. <laughs> it's the call for DMC. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. Although I did, I believe this was supposed to be DMC 823 and I changed it to a Soie d'Alger 1416 just because silk covers just a little better. This dark blue letters, I wanted them to really cover well. And then I changed this medium blue color letters to a Dinky Dyes silk. sakes Pacific Ocean the rest is the called for DMC and this is what I have so far this is Beachcomber by Carolyn Manning Designs Wow, which got squashed, apparently. Love these colors. 
Mine is on 25 count even weave Lugana. One strand of the called for DMC over one fabric thread. This is Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers. I am also doing this one with Sulky 12 weight cotton thread. One of their variegated colors called Cactus or 4086. On all the animals I'm doing in a solid color, their turquoise number 1095. And I'm using DMC to do the back stitching. 3810, one strand of 3810 to do the back stitching on the turquoise animals, and one strand of 520 to do the back stitching on everything else. And I am using some Sulky 1271 to do that very outside border. Oh, it is 36 count linen. One strand of sulky over two fabric threads. And I don't think I told you the new normal is on 40 count white linen. One strand of sulky 12 weight over two fabric threads. They're both sulky 12 weight. This is the Shine On sampler out of the Bonnie and Camille Quilt B book. It is a sampler based on a quilt pattern. So it's in the quilt pattern book that has a whole bunch of quilt projects in it. And then it has it, this cross stitch pattern in the back. I added this border, the model photo in the book matted it in something that looks like this and I liked it a lot so I decided to add it as cross stitch. I just made up this. You can see it's just three rows there. I started stitching the white in between and then realized the fabric's white. You can't see it anyway so I'm just going to stitch the red stripes and skip the white stripes on the border. I chose it calls for Cosmo thread on the, oh gosh, Fat Quarter Shop website. You can get the Cosmo kit of floss for this project. I converted mine to Sulky 12 weight cotton and just chose colors that were almost exactly the same as the Cosmo colors. And this is 18 count white Ada. One strand of silky 12 weight floss over one square of 18 count Ada. All right, last one. This one, I actually worked on at StitchCon and forgot to show it to you in my last video. This is Patchwork Sampler by Jan Houtman. Um, it does. I'm not using the called for colors. I was just using some leftover colors out of my silk stash. They're all silks. I'm pretty sure this is, oh, 46 count antique white linen. Yes, it is. 
one strand of silk over two fabric threads. And I just kind of pulled out all the purples, blues, and greens out of my leftover silk from other projects. And I'm just going to be using those in this. I think it's looking fabulous. All right, that's all the projects. Mm, I'm trying to think if I showed you all the bags. This one, beautiful bag, is from X Stitch Fancies on Instagram. This says Cross Stitch Fancies on Instagram. She is X Stitch Fancies. I'm going to continue to work on the five Olympic projects until the end of the Olympics, and then I'll have to decide what I want to focus on after that. That is not all of my works in pro. Oh, I missed one. I missed two. Where's the other one? This is Peaceable Kingdom by Catherine Theron. Andrew will show you what it looks like all unrolled. I am working in this over one section right here. <laughs> Got a lot more of that done. And then I also worked on American Sampler by Sandy Orton looks like this. Mine is in the cross stitch and needlework magazine from March of 2011. But you can also buy it on the Cooler Design Studio website, K-O-O-L-E-R Design Studio website. And I think on that website it's listed as Vintage American Sampler or Antique American Sampler. I can't remember which one. It is on there if you want to buy just the chart. I'm doing it in the called for. Well, it lists Soi d'Alger as one of the options on the pattern. So that's what I am using. I think it also has a DMC conversion. I can get it unrolled so you can see it. <laughs> uh, I got this border done all the way down to the urn at the bottom, working on this side over here to get it down. These flowers are all queen stitches. They take a while and then this fill in is alternating half stitches. So my goal is to get it down to the bottom here this year. This little man is over one. Parts of the house are over one. Beautiful, beautiful sampler. Lots of specialty stitches. Okay, that is all the whips I'm going to show you, but that's not all of my whips, but that's definitely like two thirds of them. I don't have that many more. I just haven't worked on them for a while. And then I will see you again in a few weeks for a progress update. I hope you all have a fabulous August and a fabulous week, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.